Are you wanting to cut stencils using your X-Tool PS2? I'm here to show you how I go about doing it, showing you my setup, and we're gonna go ahead and cut Mylar sheets that you can purchase off of Amazon. These are 12 by 12 in sheets, seven millimeters, what I'm using here. I'm gonna show you how I go about getting my setup and using my X-Tool PS2 laser, CO2 laser. Here, I have a bunch of magnets. These are all measured about the same thickness. And I'm just gonna give you a heads up. This is the tool that I use. This is my caliper. And I have it set to digital inches. I just take the measurement of the magnet, which in this case it is 0.1975 or 0 0.1975. You just wanna make sure that you measure measure the thickness of your magnets. So that way you can put the measurement in X-Tool, which I'll show you here in a second and the software. And then what I do is I take, I have a fresh brand new sheet of Mylar that I purchased off of Amazon. Let's go ahead, hop in to the computer and I will show you exactly what I mean about the X-Tool software and how to set up the aiming and measuring and all that stuff. Okay, I'm in the X-Tool Creative Space software. As you can see, this is my design. I'm just gonna move it over here on my Mylar sheet. Uh, this is where you can input your manual information for your cutting, your thickness. So like I said, that's the distance from the honeycomb to the top of the magnet. And then I did not add in the thickness of the Mylar, which is 0 0.0075. So now that I have my piece situated there, I will go ahead and set my cut. Uh, I like to do uh, no more than 20% power on my X-Tool PS2. And then my speed, I keep it between 100 and 150. Since all made cut using the X-Tool software as well as using the X-Tool PS2.